It's Teach Tuesday. Today I'm going to teach you how to read somebody's mind and figure out which color they're thinking of. So what does the trick look like? Well, you're going to have a number of different markers or pens and you're going to offer them to your friend to write down a word in one of the colors on a piece of paper. While they do this, you're going to leave the room or turn your back so that you can't see uh, what color they're using. They're going to write down a word and then they're going to fold up the paper nice and small so that there's absolutely no way that you would be able to see what color ink they used. You're then going to slowly weigh the paper with the ink versus a marker. Not that one. Not that one. That one's too light. And you're going to explain that each ink has a, a different weight to it. It's very, very minimal thing. It might be that one. Uh, well, it could be that one as well, and it's, it's definitely not the blue one. Could be the black one, it could be the red one. Have them concentrate on the color that they used. Stare into their eyes, read their mind, and correctly identify exactly which color it was. So how does this one work? Well, it's actually very, very simple, but you will need some special markers or pens. Now, they don't have to be gimmicked any, in any way or, or, or tricky sort of pens, but you will need ones with uh, a, a clip on them and something on the body of the marker that you can line up the clip with. And what you're going to do is line up all of the clips with all of the text on the marker. And that way you'll know if one of them has been used because it'll be slightly off from where you set it. So to perform the trick, you have a, a color chosen by a spectator while your back is turned, and they write on the paper in nice big letters uh, some sort of word, or they can even just scribble some ink on the paper. They put the cap back and have them mix up all of the colors so you don't know which one is which or which one they've used and then have them fold up the paper nice and small so that you can't see what color ink is written on the paper. And then you're just going to pretend like you're weighing each ink and weighing the paper. And secretly while you're doing that, you're going to glance at the marker and see whether or not the cap has been moved from its original position. And once you notice which one is slightly off, it's pretty obvious. You can get it down to maybe uh, one or two markers just to build up the drama and then ask them to concentrate on which one of the colors they've used, pretend to read their minds, and then reveal the correct answer. If you want to be able to do the trick immediately, uh, again, after, after you've performed it once, you can do that. The easiest way to kind of reset uh, the trick is after you've determined which color it is they use, they've used. Uh, take off the cap and, and ex explain, you used the red one, didn't you? And then as you put the cap back on, just line it up with the text. And then you're ready to go. You can immediately do this again. And the best part is, even if they decide to try and throw you off and use two different colors or three different colors and write them down, you'll still always know exactly which colors they've used, depending on where the clip is on the marker. Now, in the event that they happen to put the cap right back on, perfectly in line with the, the words, which is incredibly unlikely, you're going to have to either take a guess or come up with some sort of excuse. And maybe in the comments, you guys can write in uh, any, any sort of suggestions uh, to, get, uh, to get out of the trick and, and redo it again. But my, my idea would maybe be to say something like, you know, I, I can't quite feel the weight of it. Maybe you didn't write big enough. Maybe there needs to be more ink on the paper. Let's try it again um, and have them have them do it again. Or just take a guess because, you know what, you got a one in five or one in six chance. You might just get it right. And if not, you can try it again. And uh, it's very unlikely that they will put the cap back on exactly the same place twice in a row. And that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next week.